all of this Bitcoin, blockchain, cryptocurrency stuff. I thought it was a scam. Didn't trust it. Some get rich quick scheme. But being in tech, you hear about it. Back in 2019, I lived in these pods in San Francisco and there were these three guys that referred to themselves as the crypto bros. And that's when I knew to stay away. This is clearly not for me. But a few weeks ago, I posted something on Instagram and I got all of these bots commenting on my account because it had to do with cryptocurrencies. So for a long time, I've been biased against this stuff. It seemed fake, it seemed too far in the future, and there are way too many VCs and egos involved. No interest in that, but now, it's kind of worth considering. Don't go put your life savings in Bitcoin. If you're looking to get rich quick, that is not the way. If you're familiar with the gold rush at all, it was something that happened in America and California in the 1800s. It started off with one guy finding what he thought was gold. And it may have not been gold, it may have just been dirt, but he thought it was gold. He went and told his friend, hey, I found some gold out here. His friend goes out there, digs for the gold with him, and realizes, I don't wanna dig for the gold. I'm going to buy the materials or the shovels you use to dig for gold, and I'm gonna sell them to people so that other people will dig for the gold, and I just have to sell the shovels. So he goes, he buys all of the shovels in the city, and the other guy's still out there digging for gold, but buying all the shovels and he buys them like very cheap because he's like I'm gonna buy all your shovels and all the people that own the shovels are like sure then this guy puts a ton of money into marketing and is like hey everybody there's gold out here in California come check it out and then he sells the shovels for a super high price. But then he spent it all on gambling and that is no good. So the moral of this story is, you don't wanna be out there trying to mine for the gold or get the gold because the gold may not even exist. It's a better investment of your time and energy to go find a tool that's used in the process of Bitcoin or blockchain or whatever process you wanna apply this to and do that instead. It's gonna be more profitable and you're more essential to whatever that whole process is and it's easier to pivot. So one example of this is a Lumi HQ. And so Lumi, they actually have a YouTube channel. Let's go find them. This is Lumi. And basically what they do is, like you know all the pretty e-commerce packaging that you get and it's, you know, here are all their different clients that they have. Well, she basically makes all of them. So any like e-commerce product that you've gotten, she helps make the box. And so maybe you've heard of Hungry Root or some of these listed here but all of the packaging, whether that's like a little card that goes inside, it's a sustainable box, and so how can I fit my product in the most efficient way possible? And she, instead of creating pros or a very specialty product, Jesse actually created a system or a product that is essential to creating all of these products. Now that you can't go into a store, the unboxing is super, super important, and so now they have all of these clients. Kind of interesting. And what's great about this is that she doesn't really have to convince anyone to use her service. Like maybe she'll have a couple of B2B competitors, but she doesn't have to go and convince millions of people to buy her product. She has to convince some brands to use her service and the service is actually essential to making their product. So how does this apply to Bitcoin and blockchain? Well, if you want to get rich quick using blockchain technology, the answer probably isn't spend all your time digging for gold. The answer is to find some process in blockchain and make it simpler, make it easier, solve some problem, because blockchain is coming and it is here. So I wanna show you, I was actually working on this application. Here are like two terminals I have up that essentially represent two different clients that are using this decentralized application. One of them is Alice over here. Another one is Bob over here. They play rock, paper, scissors. And so here they both played rock. So Alice played rock, Bob played rock. And then Alice played rock again, Bob played paper. So Bob won and 
they bet it on a wager of five. This is a decentralized application that was run on the Algorand network, or really the Algorand testnet. And we can see this is actually happening on the blockchain by looking at Bob's wallet. So this is just on the testnet. The testnet, these tokens don't mean anything. They have zero value. But we can see some transactions going on here. These application calls are coming from my decentralized application. Initially, we got like 10 coins from the money tree so we could test our application. Bob submitted five tokens as the wager and then won the rock, paper, scissors. And so got his initial five back and then 10. But this is happening like this is very real and happening today. We can actually take a look at some of these transactions that are happening. If we click on this, let's see. And we can look at the testnet algo explorer, which lets you know all the different things that are happening on this network. And so we're on the testnet here and we can see all these different things. This happened a few days ago, but we can see all the different transfers that are happening between these two participants. In fact, if we copy this contract ID, we can see all the different transactions that happened as a part of this application. So we can search for this application. Here it is. Here are all the transactions associated with the application. This would be the creator or who deployed the application. We can also see what blockchain block this, this specific transaction was associated with this block, and we can see 63 transactions were in this block. One of them happened to be ours, and 62 of them happened to be other applications that were confirming things behind the scenes. What I'm trying to show you is this is very real. It is coming. It is basically here. We're finally getting some visuals or some front end for this concept that's been talked about for a little bit. Now this is probably super overwhelming, there are lots of things going on here. Now, if you're interested in this, if you're interested in how blockchain works, where does Bitcoin fit in? What is this Explorer? I did a little bit of an overview, but more is coming, a series in January. So be sure to subscribe and stick around for that. This is kind of a little introduction, throwing us into the deep end, showing you something that's live but more detailed explanations are coming. So make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you next time. Happy coding.